That's right, my friend. Let me ask you, does a machine like yourself ever experience fear? Howdy, howdy, what's going on, guys, and welcome to the video Genshin Impact. My name is Venice SGN. All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you who's best to team up with your Kaya to deal the best damage based on elemental reactions. Kaya is a cryo type, so the interactions you're going to get with him are Frozen, Melt, and Superconduct. Frozen is the most common, adding Hydro Attack to his own Cryo ability. Freezing only stuns the enemy for a small amount of time, stopping them from dealing any damage to you and giving you free attacks. Melt will deal double the damage if Pyro is the triggering element. However, if Cryo affects the target first, the damage is only times 1.5. Still extra damage, but not as much. Superconduct is my favorite and deals AoE, that's area of effect cryo damage, and lowers the defense of your target or targets. Lowering their defense means you get to deal more damage with your basic melee attacks. Now, frozen status is easy to do. All you gotta do is make sure your target is wet first. And a great partner for Kaya to do this with is Zing Kui. He works good with Kaya because his special attack and ultimate ability add Hydra to his own basic attacks as well as that of your other units. So when switching back to Kaya after activating either of Zing Chi's abilities, will quickly inflict freeze on a target and more than likely keep him frozen until the effects of the wet wear off. Using this combination is fantastic for fun melee combat if you have strong physical damage to back up the elemental reaction. That's basic attacks. Uh, melting enemies is pretty powerful, and for this, the best partner is clearly d -Luck. Though the, any fire unit can work with this, sorry about that, but d has the benefit of the best special attack in the game that literally lets you burn an enemy up close and personal with melee attacks continuously, making sure that they are inflicted with pyro. And as I said before, the melt does double the damage if you burn the target first with pyro before adding cryo. The other really good reason why Kai and d go nice together is because of Kaya's ultimate attack, Glacial Waltz. An ability where Kaya surrounds himself with whirling ice that applies cryo effect on targets that get close to him. This, coupled with Diluc's ability, the Searing Onslaught, that melee attacks that add fire, will deal continuous melt damage on groups of targets if they are close enough together. Superconducting enemies results in burst damage. I love using Lisa for this because of her ultimate ability called Lightning Rose, where she summons a lantern that deals lightning AoD to AoE damage to all enemies within range. Using either of Kaya's ability within the Lightning Rose's influence results in Superconduct. That is, if they are frozen first. Now, ideally, you'll want to make sure your targets are frozen first and then hit them with a Jolt of Lightning. If you have trouble keeping your targets frozen, try adding either Barbara to your party or maybe Zing Chi like from before. Wet the targets before hitting them with ice and then hit them with the lightning bolt to get that AOE uh, superconduct damage. Alright guys, if this video was helpful to you at all, please do me a favor and give this video an upvote. And if you love Genshin Impact and want to see more videos on the game, please subscribe to this channel for daily uploads and check out one of these other great Genshin Impact videos. My name is Vinicius Jean and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.